Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage, and this is the press release caffeine demo. So, just before I start, I want to read the synopsis for the game that the developer actually gave me. In Caffeine, you awaken to find yourself as a young boy on what appears to be some kind of space station or craft seemingly alone. The only thing that can be done is to explore this structure to find out what exactly has happened here. Caffeine is being developed by a sole developer, Dylan Brown. First and foremost, Caffeine is a sci-fi horror adventure game which takes inspiration from Fear, Condemned, and Doom 3. So that's just a little bit of... that's my tablet there. But anyway, that's just a little bit of the information about the game that the developer gave me. So let's... let's, uh, let's try it out, shall we? Now this will be my first impressions for Caffeine. The uh, dem demo. Okay, I don't know why I was looking at the ground, but this, as I said, will be my first impressions. Obviously, the uh, <laughs> press release is a bit buggy. Um, a bug that I just noticed is that there's tearing, uh, even though VSync is actually enabled. Now you. Okay, so the game decided to. Uh, crash when I clicked escape so sorry about that now as you can see I brought up the GPU uh, memory uh, frame rate CPU temperature and usage as well as my RAM usage and I can already tell you that this game is already filled with bugs but I'm not gonna you know hark on it too much but I will sort of give it uh, or not really give it anything but I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I've noticed already now as I stated before, don't know if you've picked that up before it crashed, but VSync doesn't seem to work. Now, it does have a VSync option before you start the game, but that doesn't seem to work. I also tried enabling VSync with the video control panel, but that seems to still give me tearing. So that's a massive issue for me, but obviously that will be fixed by the time the game is officially out, and hopefully by the time the consumer version is out as well. So, alright. There's a few things that I'd like to point out with, um, you know, the memory usage, the CPU usage is, there's, there's some kind of leak going on here, I'm not exactly sure what the leak is, but there is a definite memory leak in this game already, so hopefully that'll be fixed, but I'm not too sure whether this is the, in, like, this is the, um, highest quality setting because I also noticed when I restarted the game that some of the settings were sort of blacked out and oh, it's like a depth of field weirdness going on here with the shadows so that's basically <laughs> what I'm going to be doing in this sort of first impressions video is try and find bugs that uh, I find obviously so let's let's try shall we um, not really fond of going in dark places, but I assume we have to. Oh, oh, what the hell? Click F and you get stuck, apparently. Um, hold on. Yeah, um, you click F and you get stuck. I don't, don't know what that is. Oh, there's a jump button. Ooh. You're like full leap. <laughs> okay. Alright, now let's uh let's go into the darkness, shall we? Hello. Oh light. I can yeah, I'm not really a big fan of lens flares. They got the developer got rid of it on some of the lights, but yeah, most of them still have massive lens flares. I'm not really a big fan of, like, pointless lens flares. Um, but how is that there? Is that, like, a hologram or something? It's pretty cool, actually. But, yeah, the lens flare... Dude, no, just, just uh, get rid of that, please. Or at least allow the player to give that an off setting. <laughs> Hello? Whoa! Fuck! Nope! <laughs> okay. I even knew that- Oh. 
I even knew this stuff was happening because I saw the trailer, but that still made me jump, and I like that. That's good. Oh. I was going to see if the FXAA that I enabled actually worked, but anyway, I'm going to try that now, so let's find a... I can't tell whether that's FXAA being enabled or whether MLAA and Temporal AA have been enabled, but it looks like they've been enabled, so that's good. Alright. So, hold on, just let me move my hair out of my eyes. I'm actually wearing a beanie to test this because I actually want to see some of the stuff because I've got pretty long hair, so... So yeah, apparently we're a child. I had an issue with the proportions for the, uh, well, that texture isn't loading properly, what? But yeah, I had an issue with the proportions of the sort of cabinets, the furniture and stuff like that, but I found out that apparently we're a child, so it's it's not too bad, but seeing as we're an, a child, it still looks like the roof is too small. Um, because, yeah, like, we're supposed to be a child and that the roof is, like, a foot ahead of me. But anyway. So, we came from that way. What's this way? Do I want to go this way? Oh, okay, so that's where the... Thing was like looking through or walk past. Um, <laughs> what? I just fell through the level, guys. I have to restart. Hold on a second. <laughs> Don't think he wanted me to go that way. Okay, so we're now back in the game. Um, yeah, as I said before, I'm not gonna, you know park on the game too much, but I, I want to find bugs and help the guy out with uh, determining issues with the game, so that's basically what this is, this video is, and basically a first impressions of the experience. So, so far it's, it's you know, it's not too bad, like it's pretty good, like I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but you know, let's go through here again. <laughs> But yeah, that that um that scare there doesn't really make sense though because there's nowhere to to walk that way. But it's it's pretty good. It scared me nonetheless. I even I even knew that it was happening. And the same as that one. Don't know what that is, but it you know I'm asking questions and that's 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 a good sign. So I'm gonna go around the corner again and see if we can find another bug. Oh. Found light bugs, apparently. Anyway. Yeah, I assume uh, the developer didn't actually want me to go that way, or they just... something went wrong. I don't know. So, yeah, we won't go that way. What about down here? Ooh, it actually has water displacement. That's That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. But if you can uh, try and get the water to like look like it's kind of mashed up against the uh, whatever this is, I, I don't know how to explain that. But as you can see, like in the distance, you can see that it's kind of like in and out, in and out, in and out. If you can get it to look like that when you're like kind of looking at it like this, that would be pretty cool. Because at the moment, it kind of looks like it's going through the texture. But nonetheless, it's not a bad... What a job! What? <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> Alright. So, what the hell? I'm sure the kid would, like, full-on just be like, I'm going into the darkness now. I don't want to go that way yet. Look at this way. Ooh, sparkles. Um. 
Yeah, that kind of looks weird. I'm not too sure whether that's supposed to be a light or what the hell that is, but anyway. So, alright. Yeah, like some of the like lights and that look kind of weird, but... Hmm. Is there a scare that I missed? Hmm. Alright. What is it? Well, I can't actually tell you anything about that because I'm not a smart person. I uh, don't know if you wake up, go to level something, I'll be waiting. We seize you. Well, this does not look like it was created properly. I don't know, it looks like a five-year-old did that, but I'm just... Shh. Shh. Keyboard kind of thing. Coffee machines. Hey, it says space coffee on it. Noise. Alright. So we're at level five, apparently. Oh, this way. Maybe that way? Nope. I'm just worried that my graphics card or my computer in general will just like explode. <laughs> oh, we are going this way. Uh, yeah, see, like that, like the no, not not that, but the the water that's dripping down. That looks pretty cool. But that is that the texture that happens there. It's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I I reckon it'd be cool if you had that kind of thing going on the I'll just see if I can explain this a bit better on the like these kind of textures when it's when the water's actually displacing that would be I'd make it so much cooler yeah these lights don't have light shafts but I don't know whether those kind of lights would have light shafts though would they what um Okay, so the door animation's broken. I think I just broke the game. These textures aren't loading. Oh, yeah, the textures over there aren't really loading. Hmm. Hopefully they don't fall through the map, because that would be unfortunate. Uh. What? What the hell just... <laughs> I didn't even jump then! What? Hello? Oh. Yeah, that's my computer. <laughs> it always does that for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> why am I walking so slow? Ooh. Ooh, it's a lift. Can we go this way? Mm, nope. Bing bong! Close the door! You wanna close? Thank you! <laughs> Apparently I gotta get to a certain point, otherwise it just doesn't shut. Ooh, music! Du, 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 du. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, the water just, like, goes... Nope! <laughs> Thank you for playing the demo of caffeine, please. Think of this demo as more of a proof of concept than a traditional AAA demo. I hope that you have enjoyed the world of caffeine. If you did enjoy the demo and you wish to support the creation of the full game, then ho head over to that website. The Indiegogo campaign starts on the 31st of March and all funds will go <coughs> towards enabling myself to work on the game full time. And I didn't get to finish that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the demo so far isn't too bad. But uh, yeah, we'll go back and uh, go to the sort of thing that tells me the story. So let's just look at the credits for now. But uh, yeah, the, the game has a has a decent atmosphere. There's a few textures and areas that kind of look a bit iffy, but I'm, I'm sure by the, the consumer version of this demo or the actual final build of the game, all this stuff will be fixed, right? So that's a non-issue, but yeah, I just wanted to sort of get this video done and sort of give you, the developer, 
some ideas of what sort of things that I think would be cool to add and what sort of things that I think are a bit weird. And I've not I obviously noticed or pointed out that there's some things that uh, don't particularly work, like the uh, door animation, which didn't work. I just had to walk through it, which was weird. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Oh, credits finish. Okay. I don't know if I click quit, that'll actually get out of the game. So I'm gonna stop recording and then we'll go back into the game. Okay, so now that we're back into the game, I'm just gonna go onto my tablet real quick just to see where apparently this uh, audio device is because I didn't see it. Hold on a second. Um. Da -da 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 -da. During the demo, be sure to check out the tape recorder in the office and press E to activate it. Okay, let's go to the office then, shall we? <laughs> but yeah, um... Hopefully the consumer version has more, like, optimization put in place. But I'm not saying the game is bad at the moment, I'm just saying that it runs really weird at the moment so hopefully the consumer version fixes all that and then obviously by the release official release of the final build that sort of stuff will be polished and completed whoa that was a bit yeah like it's got a weird i don't know graphic sort of lod going on there like render distance But, uh, yeah, other than that, there's just a few textures and a few areas that, um, need a little bit of work going on. But, yeah, as I said before, I'm not too sure why the the roof is this small. Depend like, how old am I? Like, a ten-year-old child or something? Because even then, like, the, the roof is kind of a bit low for me, anyway. I don't know, it just feels weird. Oh, don't think we went in here before, and that door didn't work at all. <laughs> um, okay, so apparently there's an office somewhere which we need to find. So, whatever that is, it's not actually spinning, it's just like a, a knob with a spinning light. So that's weird. What does this say? Make every cup out of the world. Okay. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, there's a... Non-moving asteroid. Next to us. Okay, so we came from there. So I'm not too sure if there's a... That's apparently him. So, that's pretty cool. Uh... So this isn't the office, this is the, uh, sort of, I don't know, lounge area kind of thing. Go through there? Nope. It's got to be where we went before. The, uh, sort of area with, um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a person! I didn't see that before. I just thought it was like weird shadows. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty cool scare, but I don't know. It's not as distinct as I think I'd like, but that's completely up to you. You know, you're the developer, you have full control. Okay, so this apparently is the office that we missed before. So, there's a thing somewhere, so let's just spam E, shall we? Oh, this thing? Audio log one, okay. November 15, 2097, Dr. Sarah Anderson. Nobody seems to be taking any interest in my findings, so I've decided to record some audio logs to help document my research. Late last night, I started to notice something worrying about some of the samples we have been receiving from tank 2B below on level 7. While observing through a microscope, I noticed a strange mutation, but the tests so far have been inconclusive. Unfortunately, I've also lost one of my interns, John, who is currently in an induced coma. I've been told he tripped and hit his head, but who knows. 
I haven't been sleeping properly lately. It seems like coffee is the only thing that is helping me continue my research. It's ironic, I know, working at a caffeine mining station and all, but maybe it's just the stress of Caffeine going mining? On. What? Anyway, that's all I can think of for today. Till tomorrow. Is that it? Apparently that's it. So, we're mining caffeine sort of spaceship thing. Hmm. <laughs> that's... Hmm, not too sure what to think about that. But anyway guys, this is my first impressions video. I hope you have enjoyed. And the next video will be basically me explaining some of the things that I've gone through in this video, but in more depth and sort of giving a... I don't know, overview of the experience that I've had so far. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. My name is Rampage. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.